Hello. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Keith and I'm on the sunny island of Tenerife yet again. Okay, I'm actually down at uh, Play de Camasson, just outside of the Cleopatra. I was hoping to get in, but uh, unfortunately, you need a key card to get in. Sorry, I put my sunglasses back on. Uh, yeah, you need a key card to get in. So I'll have to try another day and catch somebody's attention or better again just catch uh, catch somebody coming out which is what I normally do if I can't get into a place but uh, for today no we'll have a little wander up actually while I'm down the sand I'm just, we're coming up to the golden mile uh, you can see a little bit misty there well beautiful clear blue skies over there so it is getting warm uh, yeah so quick food review slash bar review two different places uh, both came highly recommended and we ate in both of them the night before last uh, so first one the Vegas Grill okay uh, what can I say I think I was uh, disappointed is a good word it gets great reviews and I know friends of mine who absolutely rave about it and regulars to the island and they absolutely love it uh, I know other vloggers have vlogged it and absolutely loved it I have to say I didn't I thought when I was going in obviously you've seen though you've seen the staircase the sort of flames and I'll show you hang in a second okay so you have those flaming steps going in so you're thinking Vegas Grill, you're thinking Vegas, you're thinking uh, neon lights, you're thinking tacky, you're <laughs> thinking roulette wheels, you're thinking Vegas. I mean, you get up the top of the stairs, it's not what you get. You get a kind of bland interior, uh, nothing particularly special about it, a little bit beige. Uh, yeah, I was under awed when I got in. I thought, okay. Now, brought to a table by a girl. She was lovely. The staff, I, I find it sometimes with a lot of, I suppose, high-end restaurants. And it, it, I think it classes itself as a high-end restaurant. I don't think it deserves the title, but it classes itself as a high-end restaurant. It is a nice restaurant, and it's very important. I'm not... Excuse me, I'm not saying that I wouldn't eat there. If somebody was going there and I was I invited, I'd say, yeah, fair enough, I'll, we, we can eat. I'd find something on the menu that I'd eat. But do I think it's worth the hype? No. Do I think it's worth the money? No. Uh, for what we had, we only had two main courses and we had four beers, came to at 70 euros, which I thought for what it was, was overpriced uh, we had what well, I had I had beef and chicken fajitas which I love but they were a little bit bland there wasn't enough flavor there was no and I often stick to simple things in restaurants because I think if you can't cook something simple well then I'm not gonna go and eat something a little bit more complicated fajitas fairly straightforward most of us can cook them at home whack a season and pack in and that's what was missing. It was missing seasoning. So, yeah, it was all right. But like I say, I was expecting more. I was expecting a bit more of a wow. I was expecting more ambiance. I was expecting more of a lot of things. Uh, all in all, the experience was a little bit, I'd say lukewarm, for want of a better word. I, didn't, I wasn't amazed by it. But yeah, I didn't, I, was, I wasn't hungry when I left. I ate what I had. Uh, I was just, I was, as I said, I was disappointed more than anything else because I was expecting a wow, I suppose, and, and didn't get it. As it, even from the decor, that's not what I was expecting. It's a, it was a little bit beige for me. So, all in all, seven and a half out of ten for the food and the whole experience, probably in and around the same. Uh, would I go back? Yeah, absolutely. Next time I go back, if I was to order the same thing or I was to order, I'd be very specific as to what, how I wanted it. 
spicy or hot or whatever. So, yeah, you you, you live and learn when you when you go to these things. You go to restaurants. Uh, is it a bad review? Not really, because everything that I'm saying could very easily be fixed. Uh, very easily be fixed. And we gave feedback, and we gave very positive feedback. But yeah, simple fixes for what 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 was actually wrong. Now, we then went from there. It was a night of disappointments. Somebody had recommended uh, Papagaya for the best pina coladas on the island. Have to go. As anyone who watches the channel knows, I absolutely love my pina coladas. It's Park Santiago 3. I've actually done that before. I walked through there. If you look back through, you'll find it a beautiful place, a really nice pool area and that great family uh, hotel. But, uh, yeah, so again, we stroll down to Papagaya. Now, this is early in the day. It's not, well, it's evening time, 9, 10 o'clock. So, the place is empty almost. There's lots of people sitting outside. So, it's a nice little atmosphere, a good buzz to it. And I passed it, had drinks in it before. Not a bad little spot, but never had a pina colada in it. So, I was all right, better give it a go. Uh, yeah, we had possibly the worst pina colada I've ever tasted. It was effectively a pineapple cordial in a nice, with, with large ice cubes. There was no taste of rum off it. Honest to God, there was no kick of rum off at all. There was no sign of coconut milk at all. There was no sign of any milk. And I believe, excuse me, I believe some people do put milk milk in it, which God forbid you shouldn't do. But anyway, so yeah, dreadfully bad. And absolutely dreadfully bad and when I said it to the job he smiled he laughed and he thanked me now I think it was a little bit lost in translation here so I in my poor Spanish and slow speaking English I explained to him no the worst not the best because I think he just heard that st and thought I was complimenting them and he said he apologized then when he realized what I said and that was the last they heard of him. He just walked, <laughs> he walked away. So, what was the charge, you're asking, for two of the worst pina coladas in Tenerife? Yeah, it was 28 euro for two pina coladas. Now thank God I've gone beyond the stage of going to clubs and paying extortionate amounts of money to sit and hang with the cool people because I just couldn't do that anymore. And I even think nowadays if I was that age again, I'd be thinking, sweet divine God, no, I couldn't. I don't care who you're trying to impress. I couldn't justify paying 28 quid for two uh, really bad pina coladas, two anything to be honest, which is that. That's one hell of an expensive hangover in the morning. But uh, it's a good little look, Papa Guy is Papa Guy. Everyone, any, any of the, Sort of 18 to 30 odd year olds, they love it and obviously have no issue paying that sort of price to be there and part of that vibe. Which, yeah, knock yourself out if you're that age and you can afford to do it, go for it. But, uh, sweet divine God. And I did think the funny thing about it was they had the cheek, not only when they gave me the bill, printed in bold uh, lettering at the very end of the bill is the suggested tipping of 10%, 15% and 20% on top of your 28 euros, which if you went high end would have brought your two drinks up to th nearly 35. So yeah, that wasn't happening. That wasn't happening. And it's something I never ever do is not tip. It's not, it's not, I don't care how bad you are. I'll always give the staff tip because it's not their fault that the product, whether it's food or whatever, was poor. So yeah, and people that uh, live off tips or some need tips to survive. And I know what it's like, because I've worked in that industry before. I've worked in the service industry, so yeah, I know what it's like to do something and you get tipped for it. It is nice, no matter what. And like I say, the lad who brought the drinks, no different to the lad who was making the drinks, wasn't doing it, he didn't make a poor pina colada on purpose he made that because he was given that that's that's the recipe he's been given so wow i'm not sure what's going on here in the the ocean atlantico beach club could be a wedding or something 
great setting if it is. If that is a wedding, that's one hell of a setting. So yeah, left the tip, left somewhat. Uh, I, I felt like I'd been mugged, I really did. Particularly after the Vegas grill experience then followed by that. And then we got a taxi home back to the apartment, which was grand, nice guy. Seven, six, seven euros, including the tip. Fantastic and, and lovely lad. And then last night, got the same, got a taxi from the same place back to the apartment and was charged 12 euros by a guy who decided to take us on the scenic route and then got a little bit upset when I informed him that that's not the fare. And yeah, typical Spanish taxi driver, just talk to talk, we paid, got out, and there's an occasion where I didn't tip. That's a different, that's a different kettle of fish. It's a completely different story. So that's it. My rant over for the day. Hopefully rant over for the holiday as well. I don't like, as I said, don't like to give negative uh, reviews. So I do, even when I am saying that something could be improved, that's exactly what I'm saying. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm not saying I'll never go back. I'm saying that this is where I found on that particular night they fell down. Whether, I don't know whether the chef was having a bad day or the barman was having a bad day, nobody knows. And I suppose we all have to be a little bit careful about what we say nowadays because in the last couple of weeks, I've had people approach me with various, with various issues over something, something simple that somebody said. And you really don't know, so I suppose the moral of the story is that just be careful with your words because they do have much more of an effect on people than you think because you don't know where they are. Isn't that just beautiful out there? So this is what we come here for every year. This is why I want to live here. This is it. This is a bad day in Tenerife. Okay, I'm going to leave you all there and I'll leave you with that for a view. So if you like what you see up to now, hit the like, hit the subscribe, bell for notification and I'll talk to you all soon. Salam. So